Hey, what's up you guys? Shortimus Prime here doing another P.O. Box Pickups video slash unboxing. It's actually more of an unboxing video than a P.O. Box Pickups video. I have a lot of stuff I want to um, open up here for you guys. Um, and I wanted to talk about a couple of things uh, really quick. Uh, first off, I will be going to the Ceremony Toy Show this weekend. So if, in, if you're in the San Francisco Bay Area, I'll see you guys over there. I will probably be going both Saturday and Sunday. So... Uh, keep an eye out for me. I'll be wandering around. I'll probably have my GoPro cam on, so I'm going to do a test thing walking around there. So uh, if you happen to run into me don't and you don't want to be on camera, uh, yeah, don't come up to me. I'll have cons I guess I'll have to print out consent forms or something like that, but I want to get this shoulder strap thing and, and, and just walk around with it right over here so I'll we'll have primo vision so you guys could see what it's like from my point of view walking through a local toy show. And uh, I also want, and speaking of uh, getting to a local toy show, I didn't talk about this in the last P.O. Box pickup video. And by the way, I'm not announcing a winner for the Gypsy Danger yet. I will have that announcement next week. And I, I don't know if I'm going to do a giveaway next week. I have to kind of keep tabs on how much stuff I'm shipping out, how much money I'm spending on shipping stuff out and everything. So I may I may, may not have to wait till the week after. But anyway, no announcement today for the Gypsy Danger. But um, supposed to play a show uh, this last weekend with the Mangs uh, over in Santa Cruz. And um, I had just woken up from a nap and I was running late picking the guys up and everything and uh, and uh, got in a little car accident nobody's hurt um, no crimes were broken no arrests happened so nobody's hurt or anything like that but uh, this is just a part of the back of my van over here I'm not trying to show off the whole picture because I don't want to show the license plate but yeah there's the back of the van right there that whole shattered rear window mm that door is all dented and everything so I have to go get my van fixed uh, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to pick and pull that thing so um, try to hit, hit up my dad and ask him to you know help me carry the big old door into the back of his station wagon and replace the door to the shark mobile which yeah it's or the main mobile whatever you want to call it so very 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 sad thing to happen shortly before my birthday and speaking of birthdays uh, I gotta give a big thanks to Alfonso he's shipped out this to the P.O. Box so I'm gonna open up some letters in this Big Bad Toy Store package and these Amazon packages over here too but uh, big thanks to Alfonso for sending this my way I know exactly what it is so I just jumped the gun and I'm gonna open this right now because I plan on reviewing this for tomorrow and thank you so much man and by the way Package has been uh, sent uh, this afternoon, uh, so you have a package going your way. So I uh, hope the family likes it. So anyway, uh, let's open this up and oh, we got a letter right on, and it says, "Hey, Shortimus, uh, it's kind of a sin now to not include a letter with a package, so I'll just ask some random thoughts and I'll keep it short. Enjoy the sh the Star Wars figure." Uh, have you and or will you see straight out of Compton? I have not yet, and I really, really, really want to. So, um, yeah, I'm actually bummed out that I haven't. I, I really like music movies a lot. Like, uh, that's kind of like a... I don't know, well, it's no surprise. I'm a drummer. I'm a musician. So I love, like, uh, Get On Up. I picked up Get On Up. I actually have only watched that movie once, though. But I bought it on Blu-ray. I really wanted to see it. Love James Brown music. So, got to, you know, I wanted to see that movie. And I thought Black Panther was great. I can't remember the actor's name. But I thought the actor did a really good job. Uh, anyway, uh, how does it feel and what have... Uh, how does it feel and have you learned about yourself being an instructor? Thanks, Alfonso. Being an instructor is awesome. I love it because when your drums takes so much brain it really does because you're using four limbs at the same time not only not only are you using four limbs at the same time but you're counting in your head you're trying to keep solid rhythm trying to make sure that everything connects evenly if they're not hitting together you want to make sure everything's spaced out evenly um, you have more than usually you're listening to more than one thing outside of just yourself and on top of that you're reading you you have to read what's on the page too. That's what I do in my lessons. I have uh, I'll have people read you know while we're playing. So 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 the person is trying to play the drum beat while they're reading it. So they're reading it and trying to play it and they're listening to me 
you know, instruct them at the same time. Uh, so there's so much going on, and I, under and, and I understand drums well enough now where I feel like it's the closest thing I can get to explain to what it's like to be in the drift for Pacific Rim. You could tap into someone's brain. You could actually, like, get an idea how well their brain works, how healthy the brain is when you teach these lessons, man. It's, it's a trip. So I can, I, I, like, I, um, cause I used to teach a while ago too. This is my first time teaching. And I had a student that I, I could just tell this guy did too many drugs. Like, and I say too many because it's just, anyway, he did too many drugs to the point where I could tell there was like blockage and brain damage there. He, he ruined his brain. Uh, I have one student that's uh, in his, I believe he's in his 40s, and I could tell, I could tell it takes a little, a little bit longer for older guys to pick up on some things, but this guy is still very smart, so he's definitely not slow by any means, but I can just tell the difference between a child's brain, a healthy child's brain, and a healthy uh, adult brain, and what I mean by healthy, I mean both smart people. Like, there's this one little girl, I can just go off and off, but there's this one little girl who's just super smart. She's just, I think she's only like seven years old, and she's just really, really smart kid. And and the full-grown adult that I have over there right now, he's he's really smart too. So, I, I could I, I could see the differences in the healthy brains. Okay, anyway, I could talk about that forever. I want to see the figure now, <laughs> sorry. Um, wow, I know nothing about this character. Wow, man. Oh, I'm stoked. Guavian. All right. So I, I, I should read the back of the back. So the security soldiers of the Guavian gang wear high-impact armor that makes them stand out among other deadly criminals. Nice. Oh, I'm so for it. And we got a wicked paint wash on here, too. Desperately looking for Captain Phasma also. Captain Phasma is one I, I really, really need. This looks badass, though. Wow. So, yeah, review on this guy coming tomorrow. Woo! Oh man, I cannot wait to open this. Uh, I really know nothing about the character aside from what I just read on the back over here, so I'm super stoked about that. Alright, let's get to a letter and then we'll do some unboxing stuff. Um, this one right here is from... Uh, oh, Marysville, California. Okay, that was just hard to read. Sorry. Oh. Yeah, I got, I have, you guys are super generous with these P.O. Box pickups. There's so much stuff where I have this pile of stuff right over here. So, it's like, it takes a while for me to get to your letter. I apologize. But I'm trying to get through them. we got two this week, so. Say, is, uh, Neater Shardimus Prime, how was your day today? Well, the day's not finished, so, but so far it's been a very good day. Uh, I, I would like if you review Super Smash Brothers Wii U and show how the amiibo works. Hmm, I might do that. I wanted to do that. I mentioned it a long time ago I wanted to do that. Shardimus, uh, you're my my inspiration of collecting toys. The first uh, franchise I collected was... Uh, col collect... Alright. Uh, first franchise I collected was Pokemon, then Transformers, Ben 10, TMNT, Super Heroes, and Skylanders. So yeah, those were some of the toys I collected. I'm going to start reading, I'm, I'm going to start doing what my mom used to do to my brother and I when we were kids. Whenever she would proofread her, whenever she would proofread our homework, she would read the mistakes flawlessly. And it, and it would get so embarrassing, it would really make me not want to make mistakes when I was reading because it just goes, so I'm going to start doing that you guys, not to make fun of you, but to help you because it helped me when I was a kid. So. This part right here says, yeah, the first franchise I collect eyed was Pokemon, then Transformers, Ben 10, TMNT, Super Heroes, and Skylanders. So yeah, uh, those were uh, those were some of the toy I collected. If you have no toy that you want, plus send it to me. Uh, here's our some. Questions. One, uh, would you review the D Arts Mewtwo? Probably not. Uh, two, uh, what do I need to send you action figures so you can review them? Oh man, you don't need to send me action figures. That's all right. I have plenty of action figures. The letters and artwork, thank you very much though. Uh, do you like Ryu as a uh, fighter in Smash? I actually haven't updated my. my um, my, my my Smash Brothers yet, so I need to get the update so I can get Ryu and a few
few of the other characters. Uh, P.S. Roy Ryu and uh, Lucas and Mewtwo is out of is out for Smash. Uh, what is your favorite anime show? Uh, I guess the one I probably I, I, Attack on Titan and Dragon Ball Z. Uh, Captions, sh uh, Shardimus Prime, Punch, nice. Do you still have my cards? I, I believe I, I do. And uh, please review Pokemon Toys. Okay, from XC, yeah, I, I, I can't really read it, but very, very cute Shardimus right over, Shardimus Punch. Thank you very much, man. Thank you very, very, very much. All right, so next I'm actually going to read... Here, let's see what this one is. This is from Florida. Uh, well, put this in the right spot. It says, dear, and this is dated August 22nd. Uh, dear Shardimus, first off, thanks for doing what you do. I always consult your videos before getting figures of hot toys. Or figures or hot toys. You were the one to help me decide my first Hot Toys, which was the Silver Centurion, and I love it. Thanks again. Right on. And I was actually, I was just looking at that figure earlier today. Also, I am totally jealous of your collection, as well as inspired to continue building up my own. Keep up the awesome work as usual. Thank you for your jealousy. Very much appreciated. And anyway, uh, P.S., uh, what do you think about the new Hot Toys Iron Man suit shotgun? Uh, it looks really cool, and ever since I got the Mark VII, I actually want to build my armor, my armory, my ar bleh, my Iron Man armory, but um, we'll see, or my Hall of Armor. Uh, I'm hell excited for it. Also, uh, oh wait, is Shotgun the one that has the two pile drivers? Is the, if the one that has the two pile drivers is the one I'm most stoked for. Shoot, I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, also, what Hot Toys Iron Man should I get next? If you haven't picked up the uh, Mark 45, Hot Toys Mark 45, even though it's not out yet, I still really like Mark 43, though. Mark 43 is really good. Uh, bust out the Mohawk. All right, there you go. And then it says uh, the Lego brick. Cheesy side note. I'd like to get another uh, thanks as, as a kid. My household wasn't the greatest, and it's, uh, oh, and it's hard to read, bro. And it's because an adult don't uh, be into collecting figures and comics. It helps bring the kid and me back to life in a way. And it's in part thanks to your reviews and uh, inspiration to collect. Uh, Star Awesome. All right, I couldn't read the bottom of it. I got the message, though. And I'm very happy to bring joy your way. That is a huge compliment, and it really means a lot to me. It does, man. Dude, I mean, come on, dude. It's like, these things are plastic. There's more to life than the plastic, you know? I, I love action figures and everything, but to take it to another level and, and to bring happiness to you guys, to hear that from you guys, it really does mean a lot to me. So thank you. Thank you. All right. Now, this is something I picked up from Amazon. And, uh, I know exactly what it is. Yes! I have not seen this show at all. I've heard nothing but good things, and I can't remember the name of the actress off the top of my head who plays Agent Carter, but she's good looking. Ah, just a ten! Alright? So, she kind of looks like my wife, too. That's probably the reason why I like her so much. Ding! Sharpness. Anyway, uh, yeah, so Agent Carter on Blu ray. Uh, season 1, I will be reviewing this too, so yes! I can't wait to watch that. I've got a package right here from Big 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 Big! And I'm gonna open this right here. And I know what this is also, so not a whole ton of secrets today as far as what's in the packaging. But here we go, open it up. Alright, not eggs, but the Hercules Deluxe Pack. Woo wee! So this is like, this is not a T-Rex, it's a uh, Acrocanthosaurus, Atokensis, Atokensis, and um, yeah, so there we go, that, that's the skeleton of it, it's actually, I've seen images of this, and it looks very, very impressive, and I cannot wait to open it, so review of this guy, probably in a week, yeah, so expect a review on that in about a week, because... 
Because, because, tell by the shape, because, be, 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 yes, finally, oh man, oh yeah, whoo, I've been needing some new Marvel Legends lately, man, I've been, I've been needing a lot of Marvel Legends, I've needed them, I finally got some, yeah, alright. I'm, <laughs> that was like way over the top, right? But there's a Target exclusive I'm going to be go looking for too. And I'm very excited for these. Um, yeah, new Black Widow. She looks so okay. And yeah, Banner and Hawkeye look cool. All right. First impressions. I mean, I really want this for the Thor figure over anything else. The, the Thor figure is what I really wanted this for. The Black Widow looked really cool too. And the Banner, actually. So, Thor first, then Banner. Uh, the Black Widow and the Hawkeye, not, you know, super stoked about. But the Hawkeye is actually looking cooler than I thought he would. So, I will be reviewing these very, very soon, starting next week. So, look forward to my review tomorrow on this Guavian. And it sounds like a fruit. And then, um, and then, uh, what's coming up? Oh, I also have the Transforming Ninja Turtles. I want to do a review on those, so that's coming up tomorrow as well. So I'll probably post two videos in one day. And if you may or, may or may not noticed, I haven't really been posting videos on Sundays anymore. So, um, uh, it's just healthy to take a break, man. So Sundays I'm probably just going to be taking off from now on. So I'll probably post two videos for tomorrow and then take a break for Sunday. And then the P.O. Box pickup videos, uh, the regular ones, this is a bonus P.O. Box unboxing video. Uh, the P.O. Box videos consistently on Wednesdays now. So uh, I know you guys are used to seeing those videos up on Mondays, but I'll have those videos going on Wednesday. And then I have a very special throwback Thursday coming up soon. So uh, the next week, throwback Thursday. So I'm very stoked for that figure review. No, no, no what it is. All right, that's the P.O. Box pickup unboxing unboxing video. I hope you guys liked it. Please send your letters and artwork to Shardimus Prime, P.O. Box 384, Pacifica, California, 94044. Oh, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.